Peace, peace, black family. This is your man, Al Jihad the God, Black Power Crip Life. Those who know me know this. Uh, real quick, man, this will not be long at all, man. Uh, I want to say, uh, first off, man, rest with the ancestors, uh, with those three little children, uh, they got shot. I can't remember all their names. I know they had the last name of Lil John. Uh, the father killed his own children because the mother was cheating on him. I want y'all let that sink in for a minute. The father killed his children because I, I, I just seen the live video. This, that's the reason why I'm making this video right now. I've been heard about it, but I didn't know all the details. But I just got through looking at the video. And he was talking about how the woman was cheating on him. So that justified him killing his babies, homie. His babies, cuz. Let me show y'all something real quick. See this? This is my oldest son, man. Look at that. This is my oldest baby boy. I will give my life today to bring that boy back, man. I will give my life today to bring my son back, man. This is really a message to my women, to my black sisters out there. Stop having babies with these weak ass niggas, man. You mean to tell me that you gonna literally try to justify, and then the, when the nigga started off the, the video, he gonna say, uh, this gonna be my last video God rest my soul. Nigga, I hope the ancestors are beating your motherfucking ass right now. I pray that the ancestors is giving you the business right now. You deserve no rest. None. This nigga literally went live on video, went live, because his girl was cheating on him. So they gave him justification for killing his own babies, man. And then take his own weak ass life. Like I said, I didn't make the video at first because I seen it. I seen this like uh, when it first happened. But I didn't know really too much the details. I don't know because I know how crackers, you know what I mean, try to, you know, whiten that shit up and, you know, and just try to make them look like the victim. But no, nah, I seen it with my own fucking eyes, man. This nigga was mad at his baby mother because she was fucking around on him, giving him STDs and shit, and the nigga stayed there. Probably because the nigga didn't have nowhere to fucking go, because he's not a fucking man. Why the fuck would you stay with a woman that's fucking on other women, I mean, fucking on other men and giving you STDs and shit? You know why? Because nine times out of 10, the nigga was living with her. Black women, Stop dating men who have no, who don't even have the basic needs, the basic necessities in life. A house, a car, clothes on his back. Because this is the outcome when, when you do that shit.
This is the fucking outcome, cuz. Stop doing that shit, man. Stop moving these niggas in y'all house, man. If the man really love you, then he'll establish himself and move you in the house with him, man. You women, y'all weak as hell too because y'all think y'all so goddamn lonely. Y'all need somebody around. Dude, go, go back and look at those babies. Go back and look at those babies. It's all it's all on uh, go to Oklahoma City Channel 9 Channel 9 News. You can see it all. You see the whole goddamn clip of what happened. And he tried to justify it talking about ah ah you gave me STDs. Nigga, really? Why you fucked you? Why the fuck did you stay? If if if, if she if a motherfucker give me an STD, nigga, it's it's a wrap, my nigga. And when I mean a rap, because wherever I go, I, I, I pay my way there. So that means the woman got to get the fuck out. Not me packing my shit. Because I'm a man. I'm a fucking man. That means I go find a house. I make sure the bills is paid. If I got to give my every, if I got to give my last goddamn cent, I'm going to make sure my family is straight. Because I'm a fucking man, homie. Black women stop dealing with these weak ass niggas, man. How can you turn? How can you turn? Because he was already ready to kill. Nigga, why didn't you just kill your goddamn self, nigga? What the fuck the babies had to do with it? What the fuck the babies had to do with it, man? And I'm sitting here hurting, man, because my baby ain't here because another bitch ass motherfucker took my baby from me. And I'm sitting there fucking hurting, cuz. Black women stop dealing with these weak mother. Stop dealing with these weak motherfucking men. If a man truly wants you, he would establish himself to move you into his life, not the other way around, man. Not the other way around, cuz. Ever since I've been home from prison, fresh out of prison, matter of fact, I had my own motherfucking shit. It was one time, one time, cause I'ma keep it 100, that I had, uh, this is, this is when, when me and my, when me and my wife, uh, well, my girlfriend at the time, that's when we had got together. She had her son. Well, she had, she had, a, she had a son, which is my son here. I, I, I don't say that stepdaddy shit. This is my son. This is my spiritual oldest son. This is my baby boy. I don't say that stepdaddy shit. And I have my oldest daughter, my oldest child. And yeah, fresh out, to, fresh out, uh, fresh out. Yeah, we was we was doing the whole uh, what you call it shit, the Section Eight shit. That was way back in what two thousand five or some shit like that. The Section 8 didn't last that, that, that really that long. So once the Section 8 uh, ran out or whatever, well, no, 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 what it was, but really I can't fucking remember to be honest. But anyway, it's where we had we had to pay regular rent. But I didn't want to stay in those apartments we was at. Decent apartments, but I didn't want to stay there no more. So what did I do? I went and found the house. I went and put down the motherfucking deposit and the first month rent and all that old shit like a man supposed to do. And ever since then, it's, 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 it's been me holding down my household, man, because I'm a fucking man, cuz. I'm a fucking man. Black women, stop. Listen to me, man. This is coming from your brother, man. Stop letting these niggas move in the house with you. 
Stop it. And you weak ass niggas that can't do shit for your fucking self but want to blame everybody else for your punk ass problems. Stop fucking getting with sisters to destroy their fucking life, you miserable motherfuckers. Killed them three babies, homie. The oldest was six years old, cuz. The oldest was six, my nigga. How can you fucking justify that? You can't justify that. I don't give a fuck if she fucking did a whole porno and got a slew of dicks put in her ass, pussy, mouth, all that shit. It still don't justify you taking your taking the life of your children. Nigga, take your own punk ass life, nigga. You might have just killed the next Harriet Tubman. You might have just killed the next Malcolm X. You might have just killed... Nigga! Ida B. Wells, you, you, you literally took, nigga, you killed some ancestors, nigga, and you want to, yeah, you gonna say on the beginning of the video, and I know he can't hear me, but I'm just, a, then again, he might can, energy is, spirit is energy, but you gonna start the video saying, this is my last video, God rest my soul, no, sir, you don't deserve that, no, I don't believe in your, your Christian niggas hell or none of that shit. But what I do believe in, I believe that the ancestors is going to tear your motherfucking ass up. And you deserve it. And I don't give a fuck who don't like it. That's some bitch shit, man. Rest with the ancestors. My oldest son. Who I give my life. I'll give my life. To bring him back. I would have easily ate that bullet. For my baby boy. Easily ate that bullet nigga. With pride nigga. I would have stuck my chest out nigga. Just to make sure he was safe. You niggas. Killed three babies, homie. Rest in piss, nigga.